Well, shake it, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Keen. And we're back to start a new album. 2006, Under the Iron Sea. I like the phrase. Well, apparently so does Luca. I didn't even know you were in here. Where did you come from? Uh, but I did have a gander at the album cover art. I enjoy, again, it seems to have a sea theme, but it seemed to mix a couple of different visual aesthetics. It was a bit like... 19th century like Japanese woodblock but also a bit more modern and I don't know if cartoony is the right word but a bit more um, animated would be the wrong word too because nothing's moving uh, but something in that direction something a bit less like real world and more um, you know visually um, created Nevertheless, uh, it seemed to be a nice fit with the title of the album, and indeed, the first track is called Atlantic, which, as people will know, is a, it's a large ocean, as Luca decides whether she wants to attack my feet. Well, this would be, not be helpful. I'm trying to shoot a video here. Uh, but yeah, it divides the old world and the new, to use you know classical terminology. Uh, and in that sense, it was a bifurcation in the, the ancient world and right up on into the modern period. Nevertheless, um, I wonder, you know, what type of metaphor or figurative meaning the Atlantic might hold. It could be more literal, but I feel like we're likely in the realm of metaphors or figurative expressions. Now, whether that relates to interpersonal affairs or something, you know, larger about the human condition or human history uh, remains to be seen. Nevertheless, uh, let us do have a listen. This is Keen, the first tune on their 2006 album, Under the Iron Sea, and it's called Atlantic. Please behave. <laughs>
Really cool tune, sonically. Uh, again, still the angelic celestial vocals, especially in a couple moments, they really, you know, the way they come in or the way they are set against the rest of the sonics um, was really well done and really uh, soaring. So, you know, under the sea, yes, but voices still in the sky. Nevertheless, as I said, I love those long sort of um, heavy bass strokes, which it just added a weight to the song. Um, even though, again, it had, you know, it was pulling in different directions in that regard. Uh, again, lyrically, I didn't catch much, but what I did catch, it felt more personally oriented, and maybe the idea of you want a place where you can go... There was something about, like, well, the world is... It was like something, you know, a negative depiction. I don't think it was going crazy, but it was like, well, the world is falling apart or something to that effect. So maybe the idea is if you could find a Atlantis-like place at the bottom of the Atlantic, maybe, you know, you could, um, you know, find a refuge or a, a safe haven from all the tumultuous and um, tempestuous sources or, um, you know, interactions up on the surface. So yeah, um, that's like that's very speculative. I didn't catch enough to really make sense of that. Just it was just that one line where I felt like, oh wait, okay, so, you know, a place for. But then again, there were lines before that which felt like, you know, one to one, like a person talking to another. So yeah, lyrically, I will look forward to what people have to say. Sonically, I really do enjoy the opening. Not that it necessarily felt altogether different from what I've heard so far, but it it felt a bit moodier and more atmospheric. It felt a bit more, um, I don't know, expansive, if that's the right word, but um, yeah, ultimately it felt less obviously like um, lighter, like sweet sort of pop and a bit more, now literally the video is gonna end and she jumps up. I'll tell you what, how about you, you wanna take the spot? You can take my chair, how about that? You can take the chair. I think we've made an agreeable bargain on her end. Uh, nevertheless, uh, yeah, curious to hear what people have to say about the song lyrically and sonically. And Luca will continue to be in that sort of chimerical state where, like, is she a monster? Is she a lovable, adorable uh, protagonist? Sometimes it's unclear. Nevertheless, while I untangle that and she thinks about attacking my paw, or my paw, my hand, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, uh, but do let me know what you think of the tune, and I will see you next time. Enjoy the free blooper at the end of this video.